Welcome back, this is Andrea and today we will discuss about the shader water and so we will close the circle of the water physics. Let's start. In the past video I have discussed about the water, how you can create the, the water and uh, in this video instead I want to show how it's possible to create a water like the one that you already saw but before of it I want to recap what you need uh, to create the water to spawn the water in this way the first thing is that uh, you have to set um, a particle body then you have to set a, a fluid particle that is uh, a node that allow you to render the actual water and inside it you have to create a shader like this one that I will uh, explain you in a moment but the first thing that I have to say regarding the shader is that uh, there are uh, other two shader inside Godot that uh, takes all the information from the physics engine and then they create uh, a texture on the screen in the screen space in fact all the everything you see in the screen for example uh, this water is a texture that you see on the screen is not a mesh so we doesn't have a mesh but uh, it's everything generated in screen space so uh, here we have the uh, a normal scene shader and uh, it's slightly different because we have this fluid normal depth texture and this fluid thickness texture in the fluid normal depth you have a texture with both normal and depth and in the fluid thickness texture we have uh, the thickness in the back end i have extracted the fluid normal and fluid depth so you can easily access to the pixel data here you can you can see the normal calculated by the shader that i told you before and we are uh, displaying just the pixel the raw pixel here instead i am showing the fluid depth and this is uh, useful when you want to create for example uh, the depth per perception because uh, you know that the water is transparent and in this way you can uh, also give the perception of the ambient and here we have the fluid thickness that uh, as the words say the thickness of the fluid uh, you have to imagine this value uh, like uh, can, like an accumulator uh, of thickness let me explain better uh, for each pixel the thickness say uh, how much particles there are for example here you can see that there is just one particle and in fact all the pixels around these particles are black because there is only one particle instead right here since there are many particles the thickness is more because there are particles we have the full control of this of this data and this data can be controlled uh, from this drop thickness factor in fact if you increase uh, this to 0 0.1 for example you can see that uh, now the particles are brighter and uh, you need less uh, uh, less particles to reach the cap one and uh, yeah uh, one thing to mention is that um, uh, you have to stay care about the fluid thickness because uh, inside in, in the back end there is not a clamp this means that uh, you can overflow the one so you have to always clamp uh, this fluid thickness if you want uh, something that go from zero to one and now okay these these are the data that uh, we have eventually we could need uh, also the velocity that are not yet uh, implemented in this moment because uh, I have to do it simply uh, but we could have also this data inside this shader you can see the actual texture really clearly you can see the data uh, that are really raw and so the one of the idea to to make 
uh, everything more uniform is to blur everything and for doing so uh, I have created uh, this uh, I have created this um, function pixels uh, all around the particles are, bla uh, are blurred and uh, you can see that they are more uniform and the blur is mandatory so for this reason uh, what I did uh, here is to not use the fluid depth, fluid normal and fluid thickness that uh, the shader returned me in a raw way but I have first blurred it and then used it ok, we reached this point where the light, the water light distortion is calculated here we, are, we have uh, two distortion the first distortion that is this one take care of taking uh, of distort the light depending uh, on the thickness of the fluid this means more the thickness more there are particles in that area more the distortion uh, is higher and here instead uh, I am calculating the light distortion depending on the normal of the pixel I want just to show the difference with the uh, with this uh, light distortion and without here you can see that we have no distortion at all and we can see only the shade of calculated and uh, the reflection the light but there is no distortion and let's add the the plane distortion here you can see that the distortion is calculated in this area because here we have a thickness that is really higher now let's try with this one now the distortion is also calculated depending the normal instead in this part of the shader I am taking care of both shadow and light but let's see how here I have the light color so in case I could change even the light the color of the light and here I have the shadow color one thing that I have to mention is that uh, in this shader I am not using the alpha but in fact you can see that the alpha is 1 I am taking the screen texture the, the color of the screen texture and I am blending with light color and with shadow color depending on some parameters the light is calculated only on the top part of the particles in order to achieve this effect what I thought was to take care of the normal and thanks to this equation I was able to paint to blend the light and then I did the same thing with the shadow color that using this equation that is really similar I have blend the actual color of the pixel with the shadow and the other effect is done using the depth buffer because depending on the distance between uh, the camera and the water I would, I would to change uh, also the transparency and the, wa and the water color and in fact as you can see here that I am near the water is transparent and that's it guys as you can see the shader shading the water is really simple you can always improve this shader by um, adding a lot more effects like the foam for now that's it we will see in the next video where I will talk about cloth and then with that video I will close the series uh, where I show how to use flex so for the moment that's it see you next time bye bye <laughs>